Hey everybody, Charlie Niner 2 here, and welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol. We've got the second and I believe final DLC uh, for this game. We're going to check it out. It's been a while since I've last played uh, the Spider of Lanka and the main game. I would say it was probably about six months ago. This will be the first video I put out in uh, 2024. Still kind of getting used to saying that. I hope everybody's had a great holiday season. and hope everybody has an amazing 2024. Uh, they did announce, the developers, that there is a sequel coming out. I believe it's called The Rise with the Golden Idol. Super stoked about that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Lemurian Vampire. All right, so I have to, like, relearn how to play this, like, and uh, I'm probably not going to remember, like, the character names and stuff. What is this? It's too dangerous to approach the island, the storm, most radiant Raja. Hey, that's the dude from the Spider of Lanka. We must. I am out of time. I hear and obey. Is that it? It's pretty cool, but... Seems short. Okay. Um, so we got dot, line, triangle. And looks like they are shipwrecked. Feeding somebody some coconut water. The Golden Idol Mysteries of Lemurian Vampire. The enigmatic expiration in a harmonious island commune. Hmm. I like the word enigmatic. All right, what are we looking at here? We've got, we can look in the sky. We can look at this guy. This is the commune, I assume. Kind of a group of people living here in some sort of a cult, because that's typically what communes end up being. The guys shipwrecked. I don't see the Raja. So we got exploring, and then we have thinkings where we bring this up, right? So we got identities material somebody went to somewhere and spoke to somewhere because according to the local tradition whenever the blank endangers the blank the blank goes in the blank to the time until the next time after the blank was spoken the blank blank was activated to blank blank and blank blank died was there a sacrifice that had to be made all right let's start with you you look like you're like asking for forgiveness or begging please do not harm us we barely survived the storm we are unarmed and come in peace there's a lot more movement i see this seems like with each progressing dlc there's more and more movement let's click this all right we gotta keep notes here let me grab my pen hold on a second I got all my notes from all my other puzzle games that I've played. All right, so we are in 1741. I'm trying to figure out, I assume this is after the Spider of Lanka. Uh, 1741 is day 55 of my imprisonment. We have been sea for two weeks, and apparently Monkey Paw Island is within reach. Today, the Blade Master G, I remember his name played some Pajak with me and shared his stories of conquest. This is the game they played at the beginning of Spider of Lanka. There's something noble about this man. So we know G. We could probably go back to the other DLC and like pick out this guy's picture. I should probably recognize him here. I would assume he's probably this dude. But I do not. Like I said, it's been about six months since I last played. Uh, January 11th, so this is the next day, is day 56 of my imprisonment. So this guy's been imprisoned. We were on course to arrive to the island tomorrow. However, a storm is brewing, so I expect we will be delayed a day or two. Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth, you say? All right. Who was it that was looking for the Fountain of Youth? It wasn't Francis Drake, was it? That might I might be wrong on that. Uh, my history is... Well, it's history. 
It's been years since I've studied it. All right, uh, so that's you. We know there's a blade master that was kind to you. My prince, you are alive. So you must be the prince. It is thanks to karma that we have evaded death. Death is a concept. And been brought to the same beach. Shayan, I entrust you with garden and ensure in the safety of the Lumerian priest's son, Zubiri Kara. I'm assuming this is Zubiri Kara. Well, no. He's not looking at him when he's talking, though. So maybe... The old priest shared with me secrets of the Fountain of Youth, but I suspect he may have disclosed more valuable information to his son. Marian Priest's son. Wait a minute. Zubiri is a familiar name. Zubiri is the name of the kid from Spider of Lanka, right? It's this kid. This is Zubiri. Should we go look at Spider of Lanka? I feel like that's cheating at this point, but I feel like this face is familiar, and I feel like he's Subiri. Why is he saying in prison? Oh, yeah, they did imprison them. Okay. And his dad was the priest. So why is he calling them my prince? Unless he's talking to him with prince. So he's Jayan. Let's just go ahead and say that he's Jayan. Do we have that as a name? We don't. Priest Zun Zubiri Kara. Pretty sure this is Zubiri. So let's go ahead and name him. You are Zubiri Kara. You are probably Blade Master G. But we're not going to throw that in there yet. Let's see what this guy says. Kind of looks like Freddie Mercury here. This does not look the same. My father is dead, Jayan. Okay, so this is Jayan. I'm the last of the Gamani family. So you're a Gamani. Hold on, before we even continue, this guy is a Gamani, and this guy is Jayan. Or maybe it's Jayan? I don't know. Uh, now you serve only me. As my loyal blade master. So you are Blade Master G, which is also Jayan. Okay. You must address me as Raja. Oh, you, really? You're about half dead and you're telling him this like that? Okay, I see how it is. So if he's Blade Master G, does that make him Jayan G? That sounds right. That sounds right. Let's uh let's do that. Jayan G. So do we have another name? We have a Tissa. Where did we get the name Tissa from? Let's look at this one more time. Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. That may be Tissa. All right, let's see who this dude is. Charlton Heston? Who are you? Why have you come to our peaceful island? You say peaceful, but you have this thing. It's a big wooden staff. Have you forgotten about the importance of sharing? These poor souls have hardly survived their ordeal in the storm. We should welcome them to our village, feed them, and tend to their wounds. Um, okay, should we go to this guy? Oh, this is a whole thing. This looks way more modern than I was expecting. Almost like glass structures here? I don't know. We'll have to see that. Also, what is this? These are the same symbols we saw. This isn't Squid Game. This is something else. Well, let's go back here. Let's go to Shipwreck. Is there anything about it? It just shows a shipwreck. Okay, so if we go up here, we can click on this. Is this periods of time? Are we time traveling? I can't tell if it's like a long period of time or if it's just different parts of the day. All right, so in the line time, we can go to, yes, this is like Fallen Empire stuff. 
What even is this? There's a lot to click on here. Um, go in there. Let's check you out. Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interest of our commune at heart. Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Mongo. I can't help but think of Mongo from Blazing Saddles when I read that. Mongo, just to spite them. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They shouldn't be trying to reduce your stress. Kula votes against Mongo. Kula and Mongo. We gotta figure out who they are. Wait, 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 wait. You're Blade Master G. So this is like a vastly different time, even if it is by a few days. Yes, I did as a virilis ask and brought the repair material to Vito's dwelling. But tell me, are these really rubies and sapphires and golden coins that the children are playing with? Are those really rupees and sapphires? Huh. Was it Ponce de Leon? Not Francis Drake. Ponce de Leon sounds right. I don't know, you guys will tell me in the comments. You'll tell me how dumb I am. Alright, what about this one? You mean those shiny bits and pieces? They are scattered around everywhere. Mata taught us that children can play with these trinkets as long as they are big enough so that children cannot choke on them. So they see diamonds and rubies and money as worthless. Which, in a society where, like, you're just trying to live and eat food, like, yeah, that would be worthless. You can't eat them. Mata. Mata? Mata. She looks vastly different. From this picture to this picture. Like, this is filter off, this is filter on. Alright, what do you got to say, little dude? Oh my god, you got a bunch. You don't need to know how to read, silly. Just look at the pictures. They all make sense. Auntie isn't scary compared to Stirna. Stirna? Stirna? Stirna told my mom off yesterday and my mom cried. Look at the pictures. So, ooh, banishings? Banishes? Lemurian, Tower, Sentinel, from Community. Lemurian, Tower, Sentinel, Banishes from Community? I don't know. This is weird. I wanted to look at these. Can we look at them here? Order the tiles chronologically. Oh, there's more tiles. Okay, so banishes Lemurian Tower Sentinel community from. Okay, well, we'll get back to that. This is a new concept, this expanding like that. All right. Don't really have a lot to go on yet. Do you have the other pictures? You do. We should stop playing. I have to practice our history tiles, or Auntie Lavu won't be happy with me. Wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. Emerges. Dweller. Protection. Discovers. Brute. Ancestors. All right, let's give it a shot. I think that's all of them, right? Yes. All right. Where would we start? So... Let's just start putting... Can we put stuff... Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to start putting stuff in, like, a general order. So, emerges. Cast protection. From... Hmm. So, he's going back in emerges from tower dweller brute huh <laughs> I thought this would be easier than it is uh, so I was thinking this guy's like coming out but it looks like he's
It looks like he's going in. Yeah, because this is his little legs. So he's like going away this time. Uh, it's weird that that is from. Brute. Brute. Ancestors. Banishes. Lemurian. Does that look right? No, because they're leaving. I don't know where the brute fits in here. Ancestors, they're in a cave. Looks like they're arriving to a cave. Brute banishes ancestors. Brute banishes Lumerian ancestors. That looks right. So this guy is a brute. They left, arrived at this place, got into a cave. Dweller, Sentinel, emerges from Tower, discovers community protection. I think that's right. Brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Dweller Sentinel, which is this guy, emerges from Tower, starts killing folks. Discovers community protection. No. This guy, hmm, this guy's seeing the hood here. In the cave, out the cave, gathering stuff. Dweller. Sentinel emerges from tower, discovers community protection. Uh, we'll go with that for now. Go with that for now. What has he got? Like some sort of peas? Who are you? Oh, you're the, the dude, the prince. Even though the senior villagers have, have to work for their food despite their age, but I haven't seen that old man do anything useful around here. Is he sick? Is he talking about this guy? He is pointing at that guy. And he's mad that he has to work for food because he's used to being like royalty. Be respectful, Tissa. In time, you'll learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty cart around and do some real work? Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties and you will not get supper. Is this Zarno? Might be Zarno. What's in here? Oh, God. There's so much. KS, KZ. So these are the votes. These are the votes for and against. VM, SV, LM. So that's going to help us know who voted. But there's five votes and four in here. Five votes, four in here. Did he say that he had to vote? Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interest. So he has to go in and break the tie, right? Think that Kula votes against Momgo just to spite him. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They should be trying to reduce your stress. So yeah, he's brought in to break the tie as the village elder, I'm assuming he is. He says, why does he not do anything? Zarno will not be happy. See, that doesn't mean that he's Zarno, though. That means one of these could be Zarno. So you guys are like the voting committee. What is this? This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Valley Commune Laws. Big decisions are voted on by the whole commune. Smaller decisions are decided by the, excuse me, decided or voted on by the council members. So you guys are the council members. If the council vote is tied, whoever is available from the commune joins the vote. Oh, whoever is available. Guardian of males represent and cares for the males. Guardian of females represents and cares for the females. Guardian of Agriculture is responsible for farm work and food allocation. That's probably Zarno. Guardian of Children is responsible for health and education of all young. She has like 11 herbs and spices. 
around her waist here. He's got like bags. Guardian of Agriculture and Guardian of Children. You look like Agriculture. I don't know if you're children or not. I want to say this is Guardian of Males and this is Guardian of Females, but that could be wrong. Years 324, 18 males, 25 females, 12 children. I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. We've had enough uh, disruption from people who washed up on shore. We do not need more change. I have enough on my plate with all three newcomers being my responsibility. All three newcomers are your responsibility, therefore you're a guardian of males. Does that help us in any way? <laughs> So the Guardian of Males voted against. Which means that's not Zarno. We've got V, S, and Elm. L, excuse me. V, S, and L. We've got Phythro, or Virilis. S, we have Sterna. And L, or is it L? Lavu. There's a K there, Kula. There's another K. Still not quite enough, I don't think. I'm glad that Sutul agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. We should focus on the stability of our commune and leave things that work well alone. Commune, children in the commune. So she's in charge of kids. So you're in charge of kids, you're in charge of males, you're in charge of females, you're in charge of agriculture. Which would lead me to believe you're Zarno, but there's no there's no Z here. Unless Zarno is a last name. Stop com complaining, Virilis. I have more people to take care of than you, and I manage it just fine. Who is complaining? I have enough on my plate with all three newcomers being my responsibility. She says, stop complaining, Virilis. That's Virilis. I'm going to go ahead and say it. So thinking, where is it, Virilis? Sounds good to me. She's talking to Virilis. I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. We have enough description for disruption from the people. We don't need more change. I have enough on my plate. Stop complaining. I have more people to take care of you, and I manage just fine. So it sounds like they voted opposite. So this is probably... Lavu. I don't know. What do you say? All right, if this is the result of the vote, I will stop my experiments with the yams. But I still believe I could get something tasty and new in a couple of generations, which would increase the variety of our food. Now, can we talk about the issue of the lazy newcomers? So they were voting on experimenting with a different strain of yams. Issue of the lazy newcomer. Increase. Man, <laughs> I don't feel like I got enough info yet. Uh, not at all. What's over here? Oh, God. It's just so much. It's like so many different panels to go through. Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. What does that even mean? Who are you? Oh, you're the dude. You're, uh, Zubiri. Kara. What was that scrawled on the wall? Yesterday that wall was cleared. Day 13 on the island. Hold on. January 24th, 1741. Okay. So they've been there 13 days, just like he said. All right. I just wanted to see what the passage of time was. This is 13 days later. Um, and we're here now. 
Kruplu, or Kruplu, was very excited to tell me everything about the purple peas. It is fascinating that with very little tending, they provide so much nutrition to everyone in the Valley Commune. I enjoyed chatting with them because people are somewhat secretive here. Kruplu. It is day 14 on the island, and it amazes me how harmonious and calm life is in the village. Every adult has to work, no matter their lifespan. But it's not arduous. Perhaps that is how life should always be? Who are these people? They are Lemurians, but I have not heard of their dialect anywhere. Locals are enigmatic about their history, but I overheard a child chanting, The Exodus came first, then the finding of the accursed, last tragedy dispersed. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So, Exodus first. Then they found the sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah, it emerges from... Tower's about the only place I could say. He comes from a tower, and that looks like a tower. Discovers community protection. Maybe it's Dweller discovers community protection and Sentinel emerges from Tower. So like these could probably be switched and be fine. Because it looks like this dude discovers this hat here. So this is all, all of these have community. So I believe this goes down here somewhere. So this is probably... Dweller emerges from tower. Yes, okay, so that got it. Dweller emerges from tower. Sentinel discovers community protection. So you are the sentinel. You're not the sentinel. You, you are the dweller. Okay, well, we got that. So brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Dweller emerges from the tower. You're the dweller, killing people. Sentinel discovers community protection. Okay. Doesn't really help us. Went to the blank and spoke the blank because according to local tradition, whenever the blank endangers the blank, the blank goes and the blank to the next time. After the, this is probably incantation was spoken. The blank blank was activated to blank blank. So is it going to be the sentinel dweller? We don't have a lot of the words that go here. Can we put anything in these pots? No, it has to be gray, so we don't have those. Can we sort this? Thank you. Hmm. Still exploring. All right. What is this? It looks like an old playground or something. Like this is an old mall. Could be wrong. Hello. Once you have lived here long enough, you will understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I better not cross her. She's the one that's talking to you. Kruplu. She's telling them about the purple peas. So this is Kruplu. I'm going to, yeah, go out on a limb and say that. Um, but she's not one to actually name. It's just the council members. And then... I think you're Tissa? Pretty sure you're Tissa. What is this? Oh, that's just to go up. Okay, I think we've finished that age. Next is this age. What in the heck? Why are you all the same person? Is that supposed to be that way? Every one of these are the same pe person. Oh, tower dweller. Nagana Bren God Bol Bazur. Ah! Nagana Bren God Bol Bazur. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Person is not breathing. Huh. Why are you not breathing? Ah.
the golden idol. So the tower dweller is just someone pretending to be a god, kind of like the Wizard of Oz type thing. I see, says the blind man. To enforce their commune ways. All right, interesting. That's going to do it for this episode, however. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.